just for kicks, I'm going to show you how to install Linux on VirtualBox and get uh, Java and Lion going as well as guest editions. First thing you need to do is download VirtualBox. It's by, owned by Oracle now. Uh, I picked this Windows VirtualBox 4118 for Windows hosts, downloaded that, installed it, went to uh, ubuntu.com and get Ubuntu now, desktop, 32-bit. I tried 64-bit, but it's only for AMD, so I have an Intel 64-bit chip, but I did the 32-bit, downloaded that, installed VirtualBox, went to this manager and clicked new, created a new machine, picked 512 megs base RAM and 8 gig disk that would uh, virtually er, uh, expand on the fly. And before I ran it, I went into settings and went to storage and went into clicked on this CD. It was blank when I got here, so clicked on that, clicked here, and then found my uh, ISO for Ubuntu. You don't have to burn it to disk. And then fire up the uh, fire up the machine, and then you'll go through the install and uh, yeah, basically pick the defaults there. Uh, I installed the extras, and then once you're installed and you've updated, then shut down. Go back to settings and go back to storage and then go pick your uh, click on the CD and pick um, VBox Guest Editions ISO. Uh, I installed that to my E drive, so it was an E program files Oracle VirtualBox, and then right there in the base directory of the install, you'll find VirtualBox Guest Editions ISO. Then start your machine back up with that, and then uh, you go through the help file in installing Guest Editions. This will give you better video. Uh, better video options for scaling and stuff like that. And so there's a general section on Linux, read through that. And then there's an Ubuntu section, read through that. So I did this step. This didn't do anything, but do it anyway. It was a fresh install. And then did this, sudo apt-get install dkms. And look like... Ah, let's do it. sudo apt-get install dkms literally just like that and then go back up to the Linux part and find your uh, vbox Linux editions and do this shell uh, call shell with vbox Linux editions so let's do that so if you go to the uh, media uh, directory you'll find your vbox editions ISO as a CD so go to that and then you'll see this vboxeditions.run that it's referencing here. So you would do uh, sh uh, vbox, uh, and then what does it say there? Put dot, yeah, dot slash, uh, dot slash vbox, da da da, Linux. And I'm hitting tab to get that to auto complete, and then run that. That'll install those. Then you'll restart again, and you will have the guest editions installed, guest additions installed. And then we can go back to our manager. You can install, go back to settings and shared folders. You can set up a folder on your Windows machine that you can point to from your Linux machine to share files back and forth. And when you go to, when you do that, uh, I would make, uh, I made a um, directory in my home folder called Win. And then you do uh, mount type is vbox sf, I think. And then Linux was the name of my share. And then uh, home Lulu win was the directory I wanted to mount it to. And so do that. Now you're going to want to um, install uh, Java. And you can search through all the packages. We're going to use the uh, package manager on Ubuntu. And we can search through the packages to find OpenJDK, which is the, the Java we're going to use on Linux. So we can do uh, apt cache search and then do uh, I happen to know it's open JDK 6 let's we'll search for that and there we go so open JDK 6 JDK is the one we want so uh, sudo apt get install sudo bumps you up to super user it'll ask you for your password and then uh, open JDK 6 JDK and run that install that that'll give us Java then we're going to want Linengen. So we'll go to Firefox, GitHub, Linengen, click on the tags uh, up here under tags, and download the uh, tar.gz for GZ for 1.7.1. And then that will be in your download directory. 
so then extract that. I believe it's tar x f v x for extract, f for file, and, oh no, z uh, for uh, uncompress. So if it's a .gz file, gz file, uh, and then the name of the file. So it was, I think it was technomancy, something or other, blah, blah, blah. And that'll uh, unzip it to a directory that looks like this. And then go into that and go into the bin directory. And you'll see a line file. Copy that. Copy line to... Um, and then you want to make a, a bin directory in your home. So uh, make dir bin uh, and then home, sorry, home bin. And once you've done that, then you can do copy line home slash bin. Now go to that and do a ll for, uh, or ls dash l for list with long. Uh, but ll will do uh, all files as well. And then you, if it doesn't have RWX for your permissions, this is you, others, and then groups, or user groups and others, whatever. Then you can do change mod, and then you plus execute online. And then you should be able to run that. So uh, dot slash, uh, actually first, because you've just added a bin directory, you need to log out and log back in if you don't know how to uh, reset, uh, reload your um, uh, login scripts and I don't so log out log back in bin will now be on your path so you can just do from anywhere you can do line and it'll uh, run the script and line will install itself so now you'll have Linux running uh, in a virtual machine on Windows with Java and line and now you can get started developing and then in another video I'll show how to get Zombidity mud in this setup up onto Heroku and running there hope that helps